This is wait, what? What is it? Every oh. working wow. glitch for season three. Like and wow. subscribe before I I'll do it. make you pee. Alrighty then. I'm in the game. It's Modern Warfare 2. I used to struggle, but now I'm feeling way brand new. I found a glitch, and let me tell you, man, it's given me superpowers. I'm Superman. I'm sticking up an enemy. This is how you can unlock all schematics and get unlimited money in Modern Warfare 3 zombies in literally less than 10 seconds. But what's the point of getting them unlocked if you can't duplicate them? And that is why I'm going to also be showing you how to duplicate all your schematics straight away in less than 10 minutes of game time. And you get to keep your weapons and duplicate your essence at the same time. It's a 3 in 1, baby. If you're looking to unlock the new Modern Warfare 3 camos such as Interstellar and Borealis hard unlocked or playing bot lobbies, we can level up your guns and unlock camos rapidly or even instant delivery pre-made accounts. Be sure to check out Mitch Cactus. Com. They are the biggest and most reliable sellers with heaps of brand new offerings for Modern Warfare 3 with completely safe and legitimate services for Xbox, PlayStation, and PC. These guys have almost 10,000 reviews on their Trustpilot page and are by far the most legitimate sellers. Be sure to use code JOEY for 5% off for a limited time only. Back to the video. Alrighty, so let's begin with first telling you how to unlock the Season 3 schematics in less than 10 seconds. All we're going to do is go to the description of this video, click on the link to my Discord, and join my Discord. So this is what my Discord looks like, guys. This is the general chat over here um, this is where you're going to be tagging the helper so if you go ahead and tag at helper you go ahead and tag a helper and you're going to message saying can i get all the schematics or whatever you want so this is one of my helpers in my discord guys he just told me to add him up and join his lobby i did exactly that so i'm going to go ahead and add him up right now all right there we go send friend request and done he just invited me to a party so i'm going to go ahead and join that right now here we go now i'm in his lobby but just before i go into a game with him i'm going to make sure i remove everything in my inventory because i'm going to be getting all the new schematics from him so i need to remove them all right now so i'm going to go ahead and unequip all these bad boys just going to take a weapon just in case and that's about it and now that we're ready up we can go ahead and start a game together and watch this guys look how quick it is until i get my schematics five four three two one Zero. What's that? Is that a schematic on the floor? I think it is. Okay, so that's 10 seconds. There you go. I didn't lie. No, I didn't lie. That's how long it takes to get schematics, guys. In some cases, they do need to take you to their tombstone, so it might take two to three minutes, but in most cases, they have it on them because they're doing a duplication glitch. They got lots of schematics to give out straight away. If you get no response, try again in about half an hour because they're probably busy helping someone else or people are asleep. But if you come over here to the helper reviews only, you're going to see all the reviews that people have been given. So every time you get helped, come to this channel right here tag the person that helped you and say thank you or whatever etc so people can see the vouchers that people have been getting for the helping as you can see here thanks to humphrey hulk smash hulk smash again qgn all exclusive i've got a quite few helpers helping out on my channel right now so yeah go ahead join my discord links in the description and you'll be able to get all the season three new schematics just like this one straight away god bless him and his whole family that's right so there you go. Please drop a like and subscribe. And now I'm going to be showing you how to duplicate your schematics once you've got them. Or if you want to duplicate anything else, you can also do that as well with this glitch. Let's start that now. I'm at the top of leaderboards and I'm on fire. If they say you don't like glitches, then I say that you're a liar. I'm the so guys, all you need to do is literally drop into a game of zombies, but make sure you bring in all the good stuff so that you can duplicate them into your stash. And you also need the exact amount of slots in your stash that you're going to duplicate. So if you're going to duplicate five items, you need five items left in your stash. Otherwise, you'll have some duplications go missing and it's going to be very annoying for you. Okay, so once you get stuff, drop into a game of zombies and go buy the tombstone perk if you don't have it equipped already in your inventory. And you're also going to need an extra thousand dollars after buying a tombstone perk to activate the portal. And that's it. Once you've got all the stuff, guys, Go ahead and go to the bad signal portal located over here on the map. Now, this is the part where it's new. You're going to put in a new set of coordinates, and this is what you're going to be putting in. Bang, bang, and bang. Those three in a row. Go ahead and activate the portal now. Make sure you activate the portal before you run. Then you're going to run upstairs and make your way over to this bad signal portal. Activate the portal, and then I suggest using the scorcher, or make sure you got stamina up and just your fist if you don't have a scorcher. Or you can draw my Discord link below and get a scorcher for free in less than two minutes from one of my helpers. But anyway, once you activated the bad signal portal, make sure you go back to the other portal as quick as you can and go into it. It's going to teleport you on top of this big tower right here. Turn to the right, jump off, and fly to the edge of the map. Now, notice the time on the left. Once I hit about four seconds, open your map. And when it hits two seconds, go ahead and vote yes. Now, a 10 second time is going to come down. And here's the actual easy part. For some reason, it works when I go in five. So as long as you walk into the um, out of bounds area when the timer hits seven, six, or just about to hit five, you should be good to go. Now it's gonna show a screen like this. Now guys, once all this is done and it goes completely black, wait for the Modern Warfare 3 Zombies logo to come in the top left corner. Once that happens, 
completely exit out of the app. Now after this, you're completely done. Go back to Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. It might be frozen. Just keep on retrying until it unfreezes. Took me about two minutes or so. And when you go in, you're going to see you have all the duplication stuff in your items. Unequip them. Go back into the game. And you're going to see that you have the tombstone still there with the items you duplicated. And you can either do this tombstone glitch again or you can back out Xfil and you've duplicated your items successfully. I'm in the game. It's Modern Warfare 2. I used to struggle, but now I'm feeling way brand new. I found a glitch and let me tell you, man. It's given me superpowers. I'm Superman. I'm sticking up an enemy. Okay, so I'm going to be showing you how to get rid of SBMM from your Call of Duty Warzone lobbies and basically turn the whole lobby into a bot lobby where players don't even shoot back, basically. They're all newbies and you can do this for every single game. It's so easy and you won't even get caught for it at all. It is an easy glitch. There's only a few steps, but there's a bit of information I must tell you that you should know when doing this. And that's about it. You know what the best part about this glitch is? It will never be patched. You know why? Because as long as SBMM is still here, this will be a thing. And you'll see what I'm talking about in just a minute. But guys, it's absolutely so good. Anyone can do it. PlayStation, Xbox, or PC. So it's pretty simple. Just like I've set up for Call of Duty Zombies, where I got helpers helping me unlock schematics and all that stuff. I've now got helpers helping me out for Warzone, where they're going to have absolutely putrid accounts with the worst stats of all time, and they're going to be getting you into their lobby. And this is where it gets interesting. So instead of playing with you and going ahead and playing the whole game, they're going to back out at the start of the game. So basically in the bottom left corner, when you see that the count is going down, they're going to back out, leave you in that lobby, because once the lobby's matched, there's no unmatching. This totally eliminate skill-based matchmaking and it's going to let you get into a lobby that's absolutely disgusting you're going to mop the floor with them that's basically how it's going to go so all you need to do is drop a like in this video and subscribe to the channel once you've done that you're going to go to the link in my description you're going to join my discord and you're going to tag a warzone helper once you tag a warzone helper you're going to let them know that you need help doing a sbmm or whatever they're going to respond with yes and as you can see this is the warzone helper right here you can tell by the tag they're going to send you friend requests you're going to accept that and then they're going to invite you to their lobby so join their lobby once they do that, they're going to start a Warzone game and then they're going to make you the party leader. From there, they're going to back out once the game starts and now you're in a game with people that have matching um, stats that they have on their accounts so are probably like a 0.03 KD or something. And the funny thing is I had almost 400 ping this game. I still got six kills and absolutely demolished in this game. It was the worst lag I've ever experienced, but these guys suck so bad. I still got the edge on them. No one's going to know what's going on except for you in the game. You're going to rip and destroy. I'm sticking up on enemies. That ain't no, I'm there. That's because I'm in God, man, I never play fair. I'm at the top of leaderboards and I'm on fire. If you say you don't like glitches, then I say that you're a liar. I'm the glitch man. This is a free skin you can get right now for PlayStation users along with this blueprint right here and also this blueprint right here as well. Absolutely sexy. Now, let me show you the one you can get for free for all users. It doesn't matter if you're in PlayStation or not. This one right here, guys, is absolutely nice. Look at it right there. I'm going to be showing you how to get these two bundles for free right now. Let's begin. Okay, so what you're gonna do is come to Google, come to Prime Loot Gaming, go ahead and Prime Gaming, and scroll down until you see the Warzone pack right over here. Click that bad boy right there. It's gonna work for Warzone, multiplayer, and um, also zombies. Go ahead and click it. Press get in-game content right there. So if you're linked with uh, Prime already, just all you have to do is literally press get in-game content. It's in your game. Once you restart Call of Duty, it's gonna be there. But if you don't have it linked, Go ahead and link it, and if you need a, a Prime account, you can do a free trial for that as well. And now that I've restarted the game, I'm going to go to the store, and I'm going to go to the bottom right corner. I press My Bundles, and as you can see, it's right here, Electron Energy. This is exactly what it looks like, guys. It's actually very, very nice, and you get this free weapon with it as well, this free blueprint, the Death Conductor. So that's pretty cool as well. Now, if you back out of that, guys, and you come down, I'm going to show you a PlayStation exclusive free skin you can get now if you're on PlayStation, and that's a Sapphire. So go ahead and purchase this bundle. This is what it looks like right here. And you get two free blueprints as well with this one. So that's pretty cool. Um, you can just purchase it like normal. Press square and it's going to take you to add it to the library. And then once you go back into the game just like this, uh, this is what's going to happen. I'm in the game. It's Modern Warfare 2. I used to struggle, but now I'm feeling way brand new. I found a glitch. And let me tell you, man, it's given me superpowers. I'm Superman. I'm in this video, guys, I'm going to be showing you how to get unlimited AFK tokens in Modern Warfare 3 by using a zombies method, which is so awesome. I've shown you 10 billion times and it's still working in Season 3 Reloaded, so you get to it now. And yes, you can probably tell I've lost my voice. I'm pretty sick, but I'm still getting around to making this video for you. So please drop a like and subscribe. Here we go. Okay, so all you're going to do is go to Modern Warfare 3 Zombies and unequip everything in your stash. So make sure you're going with nothing, just your bare hands. That's all you need. Go to squad fill or no squad fill. It doesn't matter. But I do suggest you do go squad fill because your teammates can get some XP for you while you're going AFK. They'll get you some money, unlock contracts, and help you level up even more. So if you go with the squad fill, it's even better. But it isn't needed. So yeah, jump into the game and head to this location by going to a uh, rift or a gliding tower. Just go ahead and go there. Straight to this location. Come to this bad boy and hide underneath here. 
and this is where you're going to be going AFK for the entire game. That's all you need to do is just go AFK straight from here. And just to note, even this big fucker over here can't even touch you. So you're absolutely invisible once you're in this glitch. It's insane. But if it's not double XP weekend, when you're watching this, just put on double XP tokens for your battle pass. You get the same amount of battle pass tokens. Just make sure to exfil before you end the game. Otherwise, there's sometimes another glitch where you don't actually get your tokens and it's very annoying. You've wasted an hour. So go ahead when there's like one minute left, go to an exfil, just run away, go to an exfil, exfil the game and you're sweet. My XP flowing. My weapon is glowing I'm hiding under the map without you knowing Just so that I can level up fast If I don't like how I play then kiss my ass I am going to be showing you two XP glitches that are working right now, which is going to give you over 100,000 XP. As you can see on screen right now, they're still working and they're absolutely elite. And it's even awesome for your weapon XP. There is one thing you need to know, but I'll get into that a little bit later. For now, all you need to do is drop a like, subscribe. All right, so let's begin. So all you're going to be doing is going to Modern Warfare 3 Zombies and getting as many schematics and cases as you can. Just be as powerful as you can to get the best things that you have. If you don't have many good things, wait for the next one. I'm going to be showing you after this glitch, the next glitch, how to get anything and unlock it in two minutes in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. Once you've done that, then come back and do this glitch. Go in solo or with your teammates, it doesn't actually matter, but there is a tip I'm going to give you. So once you go in, you go to the Outlast contract and you're going to do that one first because if you go to the X-Fill and do that method that I've shown before, it's not going to work as good because at the start, not as many zombies spawn. So go ahead and go to the Outlast contract. Let's do this glitch first. Go ahead and start that bad boy up. Now, once you get there, guys, you probably already know this, but you're going to get it to 95% and you're going to cancel the contract on the map. Now, once you've done that, zombies are going to spawn in for the entire game. Now, here are the options that you can do. You can either stay there for the entire game or once your weapon starts to go a little bit funky and you don't get weapon XP anymore because what happens is they cap your weapon XP at the certain location that you're at, which is very annoying. You can go ahead and move to the nearest x fill in the orange tier zone and absolutely slaughter zombies by calling an exfil and then for the next minute or so hundreds of zombies will spawn kill them and then when the exfil comes again call it in again and keep on doing that you'll go ahead and see that you're getting weapon XP again because you've moved locations. It's a bit weird like that, but yeah, that's what you got to do. So these two x glitches right now are still working. Go ahead and do them. You're going to get so much XP with double XP tokens equipped. Slaughter them, drop a like, subscribe. My XP flowing, my weapon is glowing. I'm hiding under the map without you knowing. Just so that I can level up fast. If I don't like how I play, then kiss my ass. This is how you can unlock the one trick camera overnight without doing anything. Just go to sleep, wake up, and you've got it unlocked for any weapon that you select. And all you have to do is literally earn 150,000 weapon XP and I'm going to be showing you how to do that AFK weapon XP that's right not rank not battle pass weapon XP you can do this for any gun all you have to do is literally go to a game of plunder quads go right here the bad boy right there go to the weapon section and equip the weapon that you want to level up as you can see I'm doing the FJX Horus it's currently on level one and I've equipped it as my primary weapon in my favorite loadout once you've done that all you're going to do is make sure that squad fill is still on, make sure that's on, start a match, and then that's it. Once you're in the game, you're going to go fully AFK, but there is a catch, guys. You have to put an elastic band around your controller to make sure your character's always moving. But guys, if you flip your controller upside down, it's going to kick you for negativity. I tried it three times. I got kicked every single time, but when I did this method with the elastic band, it always worked, and I didn't get kicked for negativity once. Now you can put your controller down, go to bed. You're going to wake up in the morning. You're going to see that your character is still going AFK, and you've got a fuck ton of weapon XP on that weapon that is in your favorite loadout. One more thing, make sure you put in some double weapon XP as well, so you can speed up the process. Do this for every single weapon every night you're going to have so many weapons with that sexy ass camo just by going afk thank you very much guys thanks for watching drop a like subscribe i'll see you guys in the next video joey rams out